there's a lighthouse on the hillside, and it overlooks life's sea. And when I'm tossed about, it sends out a light, and it's a light that I might see. And the ship that sails in darkness now, it'll take me safely over. If it wasn't for that lighthouse, my ship, it could sail no more. Now everybody that lives around us, they say tear the little white house down. The big ships, they don't sail this way anymore. What's the use? It is standing around, but then my mind knows back. That stormy night When just in time Thank God I saw the light Was a light from that old lighthouse That stands up there on the hill I thank God for the lighthouse I to hear in Jesus gets the lighthouse and from the rocks of sin he has shown the light around me and I could clearly see if it was a poor the lighthouse, where would this ship be? I thank God for the lighthouse. I owe my God to thee. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, where would this ship be? Amen. If you would, turn with me to Mark chapter 13. Now, usually I ask everybody to stand while we read God's Word, but I'm going to be reading the whole chapter of Mark 13 this morning, so if you don't feel like you can stand that long, why just keep your seat. Like I said, this is probably going to be a lengthy message this morning. I would say I try to hurry it along, but I don't want to. I don't want to get in, involved in God's work. I mean, I don't want to try to shorten God's message. Looking at chapter 13, I'm going to start out in verse, verse 1. And 
And as you went out into the temple, or went out of the temple, <laughs> one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answered, answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be one stone, there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answered them, began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive me. And when you when you hear when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, <coughs> be not troubled. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in divers places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourself, for they shall deliver you up to councils. And in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand that ye shall speak, neither do you premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing where it ought not be, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. And let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field not turn back again to take up his garment. But woe to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight may not be in the winter. For in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he had chosen, he has shortened shorten the days. And if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is here, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders uh, to s s seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, Behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And, when they, and then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds from the uttermost part of the earth 
to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn a, a parable of the fig tree, which are branches yet to tender, and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when you when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass till all things all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take heed, take ye heed, and watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. For the Son of Man as is as a man talking, taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. Lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Fathers, we come to you this morning, Lord. We, we're thankful, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to stand and proclaim thy holy word this morning. Father, we just pray, Lord, that this message will be a blessing to every hear, ear that, that hears it, Lord, whether it be here in the chapel, Lord, or on the, on the radio or on YouTube, Lord. Just have your way with this message, Lord. Father, if there's one listening this morning, God, is lost. God, I pray that you convict that heart, Lord. God, if they come to know you as their personal Savior, it's in Jesus' name we only ask. Amen. Now, they were standing outside the temple. And one of the disciples asked Jesus Master see what manner of stones and what buildings are here and Jesus answered and said unto him seest thou these great buildings there shall not be one left one left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down you know this is talking about signs of the end times. And one of the signs that we've seen for years is wars and rumors of wars. You know, it seems like every time you turn on the news, there's wars going on. I mean, there's wars here in the United States. There's these protesters protesting about everything in the world that don't matter to heal babies. You know, we had a... During the, the coronavirus, we've had, I don't know how many protests about black lives. Black lives matter. Sure, they matter. All lives matter in the eyes of God. It's not just black black people. It's not just white people. It's not Puerto Ricans or Mexicans. All lives matter in the face of God. Now that all black all black lives matter is is just a way to get their attention. That's all it is. If it were Indians out of Cherokee saying all Indians matter, that would be their way of getting attention. 
Your crew went down here in town and started up a protest. White Lives Matter. That would just be us trying to get attention. That's all it is. Trying to get attention. Number two is brothers are going to be against brothers in the end days. I mean, you can see that now. I'm going to use you, uh, dog. Let's say you and J uh, uh, Jason have a disagreement. You have a falling out of that agreement. You can't, you can't come to terms on it. What is that? That's hate. Where does hate come from? Right. Satan has got his fingernails in everybody's back, just trying to cause trouble. <coughs> You know, I, I told a couple of weeks ago that my wife's sister, her oldest sister, won't even speak to her dad. Hadn't spoke to him in over a year. Over foolishness. But you know what? She got up Christmas morning and she called me. That thrilled Tammy to death because she called him. She finally broke down and called him and wished him a Merry Christmas. But Satan is trying to destroy family on top of family. I mean, anywhere you look, some family is in turmoil because one or two caused a big ruckus over nothing. And nine times out of ten it was, it was over nothing. Something foolish, something that don't even matter. And you see this going on all over America, all over the world. People just can't get along with their own family. There's going to be days of affliction. We've got a big affliction on us now. It's called uh, COVID-19. That's not the only confliction. There's cancer. There's a lot of people with six, uh, uh, COPD, which I've got. There's, there's all kinds of sickness in this world. People are afflicted. But I know a man that can fix all the affliction. I know a man that can fix all the, the family quarrels. I know a man that can fix all the wars. If people that claim to be Christian would humble themselves. And get in the Bible and search the Bible for the answer and ask God to show them what they can do to help in these afflictions, these family feuds, these wars, rumors of wars. He is. He is able. It's the Son of Man is coming. The second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He can. He's going to come. Not, 
never broke a promise. Jesus ain't never broke a promise. He promised he would return. And he's going to. Now I believe that he's going to come before the tribulation. Not everybody believes that. I believe he's coming before the tribulation because he tells us so in Thessalonians and there's some, there's some uh, verses in Revelation that refers to Jesus is coming. So God commands us to watch. Watch and pray. If we don't know how long it's going to be, it could be today. It could be tonight. I'm looking for him to come today. If he don't come today, I'll be looking for him to come tonight. If he don't come tonight, I'll get up in the morning looking for him again. And tomorrow night. And so on and so on. Because anybody can see This world ain't going to last much longer. But God's got to come before the world ends. And I believe it's before the tribulation. Because I believe God loves us enough not to put us through another seven years of torment. So we need to be praying. Lord Jesus, come quickly. And as we pray that, we need to be looking for him. We need to get up every morning and say, Lord, come quickly. Today would be a good day to come. Invite him to come. I mean, he's going to come when he sees fit to come. When God tells him, son, go get it. Go get my children and bring them on. That's when he's going to come. Not a minute sooner. Not a minute later. God has a plan that only he knows. The angels in heaven don't know the hour of the day. No man knows He speaks those words, son, go get my children. That's when Jesus will be returned in the clouds of heaven. My father's children are here. I've said it many times. I'd love to be standing here in this pulpit, looking out those windows, and watch that bird start flying. That'd be an awesome sight. But you know, it's going to happen just like that, quicker than that. I would love to be standing here trying to preach God's word when he comes and all his mind and all his will take his children away. I figured this would last longer, but we're going to get out early anyway. <laughs> Anybody got anything to say? Got any comments over the message?
Well, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to try to say it without getting political. But January the 20th, we're going to be in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. We got people coming in and it's to legalize everything that's wrong. Yeah. Wants to do away with everything that's good. We are. We're going to be in trouble. And well, America's uh, 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 America for the past twenty years or longer has really has been going to the dogs. And it ain't got much further to go to dogs have it. Yeah. I mean, that's right. just plain and simple. That's right. We need to be praying for America. But most of all, we need to be praying, Lord, for evil to come to us. Amen. 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 Well, that's the message. Hope somebody got something out of it. When I was reading over this, I had all kinds of thoughts running through my head. You know, you when I first started preaching, the way my mind works, it ain't too good. I thought I had to write everything down. You know, and then try to more or less just read it all. But God he had told me something. Everything I done. He said, You ain't preaching the message I gave you. You're taking the message I gave you and putting it in your own words by writing it down. Boy, that hit. That hit like a big old Titanic boat. <laughs> I had to quit doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget things <laughs> that God give me. God knows my heart. My heart is I want to preach it like God give it to me. But with my uh, health issues and, and the medicine I'm on, Sometimes I forget things. And if I could have remembered everything God gave me yesterday, this would probably be an iron high message. <laughs> but uh, anybody got a testimony or any comments on the message? Anything? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yeah. It comes from God. Yeah. I hope everybody has a blessed week. And a safe week. I'm asking God to be back next Sunday. Bring somebody with you. That's a good way to start your own. Everybody bring somebody with you. And if we all done that, we'd have to build on. We'd have to build on. In no time. That's right, Jim. Yeah. I'd love, I've said it since I've been here, I'd love to see this building full. I know it's been full before. But I, I didn't, I, I wasn't here to see it. I, I'd love to see it full. Standing room on. Open up the window, turn the PA up, turn the PA up, so they hear it outside.